All right, next I want to move on again to my favorite part of the show, gun talk. And today I want to talk about the new Walther PDP. People keep asking me, what do you think of the Walther PDP? When they come into the live chat, they're like, oh, I'm late. Have you already discussed the new Walther PDP? Are you going to buy and review the Walther PDP? Uh, and the answer to that question is uh, probably not going to buy it and review it. It's just not something I look for. And again, I don't want a polymer gun. Uh, so I don't need another polymer gun. I got rid of all my polymer guns recently. Most of my polymer guns, not the ones that don't belong directly to me though. So I, it's just not something I'm looking for. I'm not saying it's a good gun, bad gun. I know it's all the rage right now and they're sending them to everybody to get everybody to test them and everything. But uh, I did see a couple of things about it that made me interested at first. For one, it's a decent looking gun. I mean, it's uh, got a lot of cuts to it. So it's interesting looking. Uh, I really do like the fact that it is cut for an RMR and it's set up to co-witness. You know, it's got a nice deep set RMR rear sight ready to co-witness with the front sight when you're using the RMR or red dot. I know I use the word uh, RMR kind of generically. I like that. I like the grip texture on the gun. Uh, that grip texture looks pretty nice. In fact, I like the looks of the gun overall. Like I said, it's just not something I'd be looking for. Now, the one thing that did strike me the most about the advertising is that it's modular. They're like, it's a modular gun. And to me, modular means like, well, it's like a P320 or a Beretta APX. You know, you've got a firing control unit that you can take out of the frame, put it in a different frame and put different slides with it. You know, you can mix and match. But apparently that's not the case with this gun. You cannot actually take a firing control unit out of the frame. The frame, you can just buy a compact frame or you can buy a full size frame and they are the gun. They are the receiver. They are the serial life part. But then you can put any slide you want to put on either of those frames. And there's a, I believe there's a four inch slide for a compact. There's going to be, there's a four and a half and there's going to be a five inch coming, which I start thinking, well, how can you put them all on there without needing uh, a new recoil assembly? Cause that's what it said. It said, since it's modular, you don't need a new recoil assembly when you change the slides. So I start thinking, well, how are they doing that? Are they lugging the barrels a little farther forward on the longer barrels or what are they doing? Well, after examining some pictures, it became very clear what they're doing on the four inch the recoil uh, uh, guide, the guide rod, is actually flush up with the front of the gun. On the four and a half inch barrel, as you can see in these pictures, it is set back a half inch into the gun. You've just got an opening in the front. And I'm assuming on the five inch barrel, it'll be set back an inch. So that's all they've done. They've just set back the part of the gun that the uh, guide rod actually interacts with. You know, the little hole at the front of all your guns you see where the guide rod comes up flush with, it's just set back into a channel on these guns. Now, that is not, I wouldn't say ingenious, but it's original. You don't see that in other guns. So it is nice that you can use that same recoil assembly for all the different slides, and you can put the slides, all the slides on both of the frames. So it's kind of a cool idea. It's just not something I'm jumping up and down about because for one, I don't even know if I like that reset slide thing in the front, that little opening in front of your gun. Uh, it's not something I would worry about, but I know some people out there for some reason are really worried about what their guns do if they throw them in the mud multiple times. And I would think that that opening would be something ripe to get filled with mud and maybe interfere in how the gun works. Uh, or maybe it won't. Maybe it'll just get shoved right out by the guy rod. I don't know. But uh, as far as buying the gun, it's not something that just, it's not something that floats my boat. My taint ain't being tickled by this because it's another polymer gun, striker fired with a red dot sight. Uh, but it looks like it's, if you're in the market for one of those guns, this looks like it could be a very heavy contender if you are actually looking for that. I'm not looking for that. So you probably won't be seeing a lot from me about it, but don't worry because I'm sure you're going to see a lot from every other channel, especially the ones that, you know, sell guns for profit, that's their job, or advertise guns for profit, that's their job. So I'm sure you'll see a lot from them and it'll answer a lot of your questions as to whether this gun might be for you.